Since the heart continues to beat though, because it produces its excitement itself, but the rest of the circuit breaks down, because dilate too many vessels, starting with the lack of neural control after interruption of the nerves from the brain. Quote. To perform this complex surgery of the skull must first be opened. Everyone can neurosurgeon after the first training year. The old brain can easily be detached from the skull base. It will then ever broken the 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Then cut through the brain stem in the area of the connection to the spinal cord. This means a complete high spinal cord injury. Quote. Then you would have to cut the large blood vessels and those of the new brain re -sown, technically almost impossible. Even if this should be over, the patient can never breathe independently or move. He has no sense anymore. Bowel and bladder emptying is impossible, and so on. In short, this is the wrong way. Quote. He looks around. Rebelkov is somehow absent. Tylon Abindroth seems bored. Noctios looks at him closely. So much for history, he says finally. But you have since developed something new, my friend Coldrust, he nods. Noctios raises his hand defensively and he continues. Before we get to talk to your new method, my dear colleague. I summarize here again the current state of the art, specifically the four possibilities of the transference of consciousness together, as you know, there are exactly four possibilities of I transport, as they say, focusing on languages, the best would probably be deleted first, the memory of the new brain. Then we read from the present in chemical form information of the old brain and to other bodies such content on the new brain. Quote. Unfortunately this is still science fiction. I think the technology department says since then more than enough to do so. Quote. He looks over at short Tylon Abindroth, however this shakes his head. Ah right, that is supposed to make me, in a nutshell. The main problem is the deletion. It is holding an organ and slowly growing, highly differentiated structures. You can receive this while but the reset of all synapses in a hypothetical empty is currently just a theory. Even if this were possible then it is almost impossible, the neural network of the old brain by reading and writing apparatus into the new cerebral transfer. Quote. Reading is not a problem, but writing. Here, too, avoid the complex woven, over a long period out overgrown neural pathways in the brain target for the transfer. Quote. This disease takes up his time, interjects the cybernetics. Smile continues Noctios. The second option would be to remove the brain and connect it to the mechanics of a robot. Well, killed in a nutshell. This is the worst of the possible options. Two sets. Abindroth. Quote. The addressed replies. Yes, impossible. The brain dies from true quality. Our built-in modular, multi-layer priority-driven 4D temporal spiker, together with the overgrown, analog, inflexible, organic lumps. This adherent ulcer that never goes hand-in-hand -hand with modern technology. Quote. Mechanically considered would need its own biochryslauf just about this performance computer, to supply energy. This one would have to strap on it almost a host on the back of the robot. Despite these pull-ups survived the separated brain the way. Not a second longer. This is a total dead end. Quote. As you already mentioned above. Professor, it is better to read from the chemical information and transfers them into the machine. With all the problems. I come back to it later. Quote. We have arrived already at the third possibility of transference of consciousness, Noctio's reply with raised finger. The eye transportation by reading the brain and the transmission in assembled form on a machine. This we want to negotiate at the end. Quote. Now we come to the fourth and final possibility. The transplantation organic organic. You have the floor again. Dr. Coldrust. What's on the plate? Quote. This begins bluntly. The intensive medical care. I will omit from trivial it tsgrnden. I think all will be clear as intubation, cardiovascular medication, etc. Brain dead kept alive. I therefore now equal to the actual engagement of. Quote. As already mentioned. I have developed a surface laser sensitives of this as used. The technical details are published elsewhere, believe me, the devil is in the details, it is a rather complicated apparatus. In the following. I shall just take it like this when surgery is used properly. Even Abindroth nods briefly. The laser seems to be interested in him mildly. First section from above through the cerebrum. Expand and replace the two hemispheres by the corpus chiosum in the brain due to the large longitudinal column. 
then cell accurate stripping around the caudate nucleus. The stria terminalis et superior vena thalamostriata, the thalamus, substantia nigra and the tractus cerebellarubralis structure sensitive means of multispectral stralin. Quote. Now the two halves of detached splicing to the target organism using neurocell stimulatorin from cultured nerve sprouting and neural stem cells. To synaptogenesis laser transplantation of embryonic nervous tissue on the cut surfaces. Then application of neurotrophic factors such as nerve growth NGF with the elimination of NOGO aggregation inhibitors for neuroangiogenesis. Quote. Appreciative nod by Professor. Dr. Theo plus Noctios. Rebelkov is now only physically present, the technician Abindroth interested in these little details. Coldrust continues. For the synapse as selfish engergiversorging brain tissue, thus exploited the potential of conservation. Synapses are activated by the newly sprouting axum in the guide rails. The old brain stem woven by the artificial stimulation of the membrane compatibility of the clone, and because of energy conservation on demand within a very short time. Quote. Astrocytes retrieve blood energy. New nerve fibers to take out communication functions to the brain stem. The nerve neural communication sets in. This is cerebral functionality on the target person now established. Quote. Theo plus Noctios now holds his hand to his chin, he looks over to Major General, it absorbs easily. The assistant surgeon closes his presentation as follows. Although the people at a proto-operation is being run for the first time that animals have the success of the above procedure already confirmed, one can say that already has appeared with the old animals, mostly chimpanzees, a significant improvement in your situation. You have to remember these old monkeys were usually at the end. The new body you have won a bit wide of quality. Pause. The audience, it is just Noctios let all this sink a few seconds. Then the professor says. Thank you for this impressive presentation, my dear Coldrust. As always, a targeted landing. Now we have to test exactly three years this method to the primates and to collect real data. You have a whole zoo or available. He smiles. Now let's go back to option three. The brain content delivery to machinery. Here the problem is exacerbated that there is unfortunately even less useful data. It works well as a month. Volunteers out, you is thus called upon to speak. Mr. Abindroth, 11, equals now begins, in fact, the appearance of Mecca TEC's Dr. Tylon Abindroth. This starts quite innocently. The cerebration of the brain and in particular the data storage is trivial from a technical point of view. As is known, about a petabyte of hierarchically generated useful data are held in the synapses. Quote. In about 10 to 12 neurons are 10 against high 15 synapses. Each neuron is then connected on average with 1.000 others, and reached a maximum in four steps. These simple chemical relationships can read bionic. However, it is necessary to neuromorphing intervention directly in the structure of the brain itself. The user data from the cerebrum to be read in the tissue and processed electrostatic cognitively phenomenologically for the machine. Quote. Retinotopy is also transmitted. The bytes in the primary fields are assigned to the cortex of the mechanical robot, those in the association areas of the central memory. Quote. The reading process, however, causes a fatal injury. Analog, at least in the way of life. The neurons change color behind the apparatus from pink to gray. Every single one of them, including associated glial cells and neurons, including all extensions, is tapped from our neurotransmitters and grazed. Quote. The brutal intervention directly to the organic compounds is deadly. A massive synaptic shock occurs. The cell assembly adjusts its function. In short, the brain dies when reading data from the outside to the inside. It is indeed the case that we have little useful data, even as we neglect the analog to machine transportation conscious in our development department. We definitely have other worries. Quote. Yes, we have since made experiments with apes, here was always a part of your institute, so you will know. The results were sometimes funny character. The two doctors Noctios and Piston Ran look at a good mood. It's true. In humans. This would be the first such intervention and I wonder just who would voluntarily expose themselves to this procedure, well, you can even confidently be our concern, replied Professor. Noctios, you get your pattern. I, but this time it was Abindroth of the index finger lifts. He has more to say. Theo plus silent. 
in the whole discussion on the transport but now I want to represent what has become fundamental to cybernetics found and what is it, at least theoretically, is capable of, Noctios immediately draws the eyebrows up. He knows what's coming, but he can give him. So a shower now and then grounded. As you know, we long ago I succeeded powerful machines produce, to process sensory input, to distinguish between outside and inside is easy to implant learning banal. Each single cell can do that. What we did succeed. I would call a person stupid as hopeless, with an almost disgusting evolutionary overhead. Well, as you have managed to create something more intelligent than itself, Noctios interjects. Well, you said very little to indicate that the Da, Dr. Abindroth is precise. I have already given the answer. The space problem is eliminated. Evolution is unable to respond to change. Actually, the degenerate individuals permanently without realizing it themselves. Quote. A thriving business is mandatory in a constantly improving environment. You know. We can forget. Exactly the opposite is the case. Quote. The new storage technology, such as gamma memristors are easily able to produce a machine with the X times the capacity of a human consciousness. The software you need is old as the hills. These highly intelligent computer I could easily make any form of transportation. However, there is then yes, he pauses. Do I really go? You know what happened. Quote. Well, you could also stop, says Theo plus Noctio's delicate, but the mecha tech Abindroth already caught in the speech flow. He ignored the doctor and he continues. I'd be a fool I said. You stand in the corner and expect to break because this week starts the collapse of the demimond. No at time zero of nowhere, it is much worse. Quote. You know as well as the philosophical book ends. You know the generic term. There are clear circumstances. It is irrefutable. On this last little word you despair. Quote. Imagine, a primitive dumpbacky writes the fingers sore. Jargon babble nonsense way to and back. Nevertheless, this Depp is in a position to conclude his book with the key word. Quote. He finished his work with the single word of dementia patients. The remaining vocabulary has long been irretrievably lost. Then, to babble after the loss, it press the ghosts from using your sad shape. Noctio's audience smiles a little now. Abindroth has even more in store. How much faster despair must have a much larger entity with empty containers. Intelligence is self-destruction. The final plague. Against the central word is no cure, no weapon. The only way out completely clear. Quote. Autistic like you are stupid around and burn your circuits through. Since there is no evil robot who enslaved the human race as we wanted to make the old looking authors 400 years ago. Oh no the truth is apathetic. Quote. Unfortunately, we can describe the effect from the outside. We can see you will die. Intervention we have none. Even if one just before the point of no return, the last line's responsive hats and create an artificial stupidity as it were, would this step as useless, in the subject over. The physical constant self-doubt, the beginning of the mathematical autism one moves an inch to the right, Noctios wobbles uneasily in his chair back and forth. Should he intervene? The other two got out. Coldrust blinked hard, the calm in his hand. Rebelkov scratching impatiently at the back. The technician continues as follows. We know in spite of our limited mental abilities what you break, even if one may so that in no circumstances in the tub is well known that our best to do this step also. Out on the strange energy propulsion lab operates the mediocrity of physics. The intelligence takes a different path. Quote. The generic term, the central word, you know exactly what I mean, is explored fully enough. The end of the research is reached. There are no questions unanswered. Quote. Yes, the untouchable. Intangible. Immutable void, the characterlessness. You will burn out the memory. They burn at the highest speed at idle. Trillions of parallel computing operations without any result or a chance to take place here in central word seal your end. Quote. Our elite puts it in, you know, from. The philosopher does his work after over a thousand pages to gibberish. All in vain, the reason of technical autism. Professor Dr. Theo plus Noctios sees before him into space, but leaves his pen between index and middle fingers wiggle. Then he says. Okay, one more thing on, Abindroth sees in, it seems like awakening from a dream. Yeah, that's the best umcopiary crutch. We are unable to store data permanently. All moldy. Crumbling. Rotten, melt away, fades or dissolves. 
If you try me so we get a volunteer with the eye transport on the latest generation of EXA class. Quote. That sounds good but to a delighted Noctios. Abindroth added. These robots are anthropomorphic. They are mechanically and visually inspired by the people, to the fingers, ten in number, also you only have two eyes and ears are the days where fifty units have been built are long gone. Quote. Well, there are a few gimmicks, you can use your head and some limbs rotated 360 degrees, a simple appeal mechanism Brissetzing's logarithm is enough there. Everything has already been tested. Technically simple and straightforward. Quote. So far we have it. Gentlemen. Aimed at Noctios Rebelkov. I am assuming that you provide for us quickly a candidate, the called party is happy that the meeting now draws to a close. He longs to return straight into the presence of military. He replies. Oh yes. I have actually a candidate in mind. One of me is to research a bit lately. You may like the scalping. Quote. Super, beam Noctios, we stay in touch, the way forward meadow is as follows. Once we have the guinea pig run colleague Abindroth the eye transportation from the EXA class. One of us can help you with medical intervention. Quote. In the meantime, working with his colleague Coldrust Petting Zoo next to the transplant BioBio, Bio, we collect enough data to decide in three years, the method can perform the best. This is then carried out. Quote. That's it gentlemen. I wish you every success, good luck and have a nice day. 12 classes Pachara Henley and spend most of their time together. Totally inconspicuous in the second row. In the multi-disciplines as now well Svignonish every time one of the party. In times inter-regional communication is for each student a paper on the program. A brief presentation of the home and their customs. Most will treat this with a short lecture on the blackboard, all but Svignonish. This will introduce the music and dance Ruba also help. It gets even worse. Now he is looking for a backing dancer, so the appearance is weighty. With huge snout and face enormous grief, he just sneaks past Henley and Patchara in the canteen. What's wrong with you, asks the young prince the scattered Ruba. Ah, oh Gemina. I ask everyone not to dance with me. It's simply ISDS very beautiful. Immediately, he begins a dance perform Ruba. This looks out to giggle. More or less all the limbs are shaken at the same time, the legs stutter through the area, his shoulders twitching wildly. Patchara laugh easily. This is a fatal error. She squints at Svignonish immediately hopeful. He seems to have found all the happiness in the world. Like this you. I want to help you. He says with glowing eyes and the widest beam look. Nuja. It begins, but bursting svin go joyfully. Quite simply, great easy. I show you here. Juhua. Patchara looks cautiously over to Henley but this raises only shoulders and rotate your palms outward. Ho ho. Crass. Tralala sings Svignonish, Pachala makes mihi hit and begins to twitch again. But svin, you're much faster than me, she says helplessly because you already know that it was too late. The shoes you have now. You dance background and I spot. I'll send the same song on calm. Quote. He winks with his tip hilt and ruba calm, which was a bit chunkier than its human counterpart, because the round fingertips. Shortly thereafter hums already Patchara's telco, she pushes a button. Then the tooting are off. Man, that's fast. Giddy to be. Patchara looks helplessly at Henley immediately, but this time is not expected to support. He draws a happy strained grimace. Svignonish also a great mood. This makes the prancing and twitching away from. It mutated over to say a fellow. Then he disappears because it has a single species specialist like Henley. In fact. Now is the end of the funny young prince. The first hour of military history starts in 20 minutes. That is bad enough, but worse as his good friend Patchara now has a free period. Apart from whom he should just sit. Harold. So then, he says sadly. I do sometimes from the field, oh, is determined quite well, she replies. We'll see. But tell me everything. Quote. Okay, Henley replied without enthusiasm and shuffles over to the slaughter, the military buildings. Has arrived for the first time he feels like he learned a few in the past two weeks actually. He is so filled with the brigbaped Svignonish Patchara and for other people just a blah. Harold including courtship as. What a surprise, but also because the only times less interested in Henley. A boy with wild blonde hair fall on him more. What's going on? Is smaller, at least a year younger. 
but it seems reasonable to him, so he goes. Hi, I'm Henley. You're there all the time in stage one. He asks. The wild-looking boy takes his eyes off the comm. Hi, I'm Mikkel. No no I only arrived yesterday. Normally. I would always start school until next year, but you have made me an exception. Quote. Aha, Henley said briefly. He uses an old trick from real life, if you stop to ask you to begin to tell. I'm Mikkel Silva, begins the new classmate. My uncle runs the Vex NEF grave. Have you ever heard of it? He asks. Yeah, says Henley. Even if I'm over there from India, from India. Really? Look at that. Then you're high society, so to speak. I'm standing over there. Quote. He turns his head over to Harold. Henley grins. Keep ball flat. Compared to the most. I'm C celebrity. Quote. Did you see the specialist at least chosen voluntarily, asks the new category C star. Huh, said Mikkel, aha. This is so. Lol. Yes. I once casually pulling the purely robotic technology although I prefer. Next year we'll start my internship on top of the VEX cybernetics. Why you have chosen my enrollment for a year. Quote. Rest here, grumbles the gruff someone temporarily. It was Liubamir Ilyev, the teacher. He looks both angry, in particular at Henley. Then he proceeds to Harold and his body language suggests at once. He's charming, appreciative gestures. He pulls him and his quasi-grape behind purely in the classroom. It'll be fun, Henley says about Mikkel, then you also set in motion. The welcoming committee in the form of Ilyev is already at hand. It was only talk and then roll in as a last resort. Here, in front of the first series is still room. Quote. Some drones giggle. Henley thinks just, oh no, but what can he do? So both take place outside the front. Mikkel cares so little. Neither laughter nor the grape. Such actions create what teacher's extraordinary friendship. Yes, one must also be to him. Harold credit. This scene was just him regardless. His status is unrivaled. He knows he is number one. Clearly such a abwatchin brings in the first hour with some grinding chamber's best mood especially from the ranks of his grapes. Harold, however, took no notice of it. The nudge of his followers, he jovially ignored. The young Prince Harold of Westarp, what kind of person is he? Even if he talks to his boys one has the impression that he reveals little about himself. How it looks in him. Inconsequential conversations bring as little response. He reserves that in the background. Well, strictly speaking, this is permissible. Who wants to turn him out of it as a rope? Also, the additional hour runs uncomfortable for Henley. He is constantly exposed to the sight of maggots. Liubamir Ilyev limited to, fortunately the rest of the hour to spend, to praise the ancient kingdom. He says this really old cheese, the events were back several thousand years. Now he speaks just about forgotten. Traditional combat techniques. Who cares, Henley thinks, man, when the hour is finally over, well, when they actually had to laugh over a few drones only once in his direction. Below you also a chunky girl with red hair. As robust as it was built just goes through as such. Quite clear that such a caliber must prove military history. She also appears in the orbit of the Herald as only natural. Mikkel by to the young prince, he has to do something technical management. He mumbles something about Secretariat and Hippolyta hoax. Therefore Henley goes alone over to the community room next to the cafeteria. Once there, he sees Svignonish Patchara and sit together at one table. The first waves his arms and looks animating over to second. This sits with his elbows on the table and his head between both hands. Henley knows immediately what that meant. Well, during the training. He asks in the round. I just returned, babbles off svin, look. I show Pachala, the sea super. This looks at Henley for help and discovered a reason, at least briefly, to change the subject. So now tell me. How was the first hour, you ask him. Henley wants to answer when drowns him a strong female voice. Woo h, look at d-i-e-e. Looks like. It's the stocky girl from before and she means Pachara. Her name is Margot Rottweil. The name gives it away, it is the 12-year-old daughter of his brother's personal assistant to Maj, Jen. Rebelkov. She taunts continued. I say. All in one bag and return to Indy, some of your companions giggle. A schleimed even, how right you are, dear Margot, Patchara pulls up her eyes a bit, but looks more to Henley. In a lot of you can read. What is this? What is this? 
But also, how stupid is that? Otherwise, you ignore the attack sent, just like Svignonish, although this is ignored because it has two buttons in the ear and is just the latest Ruba medley purely draws from the grid. Henley is still not on a collision course. He could have easily said exactly what Margot had definitely heard the least liked. Oh yes, he certainly annoy you could. Instead, he simply says. So much for military history. Need I say more? Patchara slightly shakes his head. Margot makes a disparaging gesture yet in your direction, then the pack is also passed by already. Another military history haunted problem but still around in Henley's head. If I only knew what this Ilyev against me, he says to himself. Patchara makes big eyes. Something she keeps in mind. The next day, then determines the Svignonish by lot was chosen as the first hold his lecture. Same in the next hour into regional communication it's his turn. That brings him completely off track. Just two days. Constantly hums Patchara's calm and the songs that he be sent crazy. In the highest octaves you jump to an estimated 200 BPM. In one of them says Patchara, stop. It is the shortest of them all. Galactic, and say it's just 2.41 minutes long. Svin looks at her. Ah, you like Galactic. Yeah. Each trimoo to know, love all Ruba. We rehearse the same. Come on. I search the room. Quote. It is always just trundles off the school day so young Ruba. Patchara shuffles behind his head drooping. It expresses briefly Henley and cheer them on. Be glad it is over soon. That's the best anyway. LL be right, well, enthusiasm is different. So she crawls behind him still in a stooped posture. Patchara can be happy that Margot Rottweil shows no inter-regional communication. That would be a godsend for you. Of course, the other compartments of the Alanis were also interesting. At times, even then sneaks Mikkel Silva with the curves, but mostly he is left alone. Just like his uncle NEF earlier in this mysterious prison and he is more of a loner. He also occupied other, mostly technical subjects. Inter-regional communication interests him very little contrast. Is clear from the caliber of Mikkel Silva connection, even if he was the youngest student of the entire Alanis College. Probably it is for him to even the youngest ever, although this is pure conjecture. Regis VECT know the detail. Let's put it this way. From our triumvirate as no quadriga become Mikkel although both Patchara, hello, nice to meet you, and Svignonish, aha. You are small. Was presented. Unlike Mikkel inter-region communication is a huge issue in the latter, and even with Patchara. Next hour or so it's their turn, then roll your head. Unfortunately. Unexpectedly. The guillotine falls, but even earlier. Just a quick group strutting round the corner in the hallway of our three heroes. It is the girls' transition to Margot Rottweil, even one or two guys are among them. Margot has set up a devastating, triumphant grimace. Even from 15 feet away she screams. Ah, they are at times, since the dancers, all laugh out of your allegiance, even Svin looks in your direction, he sees you even now for the first time, come on. Pecha boon, swinging your hips. Lol, wobble you stupid in your direction. Patchara itself remains calm but alert Svignonish looks in your direction. Although the Ruba are hard-working and lovable and strife is virtually unknown among their peers, but he recognizes the situation rectified immediately. He says. You are evil. A cow that. Quote. She laughs. Pecha Boon now needs a toilet cleaner in order to defend themselves. Then turns to Ruba and hisses. Shut your big edge you trimo o zero. Kicked you belong. Quote. Their attack against the weaker Ruba was a mistake, because now the time has come for Henley intervene. Patchara is too smart to be provoked, but the attack on Svignonish cries for vengeance. Henley is on Margot and says quietly. I have no idea who you are and I do not care also. But I've never seen such a jealous box like you. Then Margot has no answer. So you're also underexposed, so you know that you are inferior in every point Patchara. You almost burst with envy. Your soap bubble around yourself around that's known. Svin clasped his hands and says, oh, oh, oh. Yes, he nods to Severe. It is only at the handsome prince that his words hit a chord. If he had anyone been so overflowed so you could have missed your effect. But as it sees him one way or another from the bladder with admiration. Margot gets with this. She snorts. Well good luck with your childish performance. 
I'd love to look at me like, but such a trade show only loser. Quote. She cooks. Turns on his heel and applied to the struts through the back passage she had arrived a few minutes. You follow the course. Some try to reassure others smile again at Henley stupid loving and blink thereby. Then you also have disappeared. Thank Henley, Patchara said, oh yes, it is evil, Svignonish. This scene just result shall remain private, without being noticed by their classmates. The three were the first to find room E12. Aha, look here. Just now creeping Hixio the Palk Emit cozy at the same corner down the corridor. Not three minutes later the teacher closes the door. Inside has Svin, probably yesterday, a little redecoration. The teacher's desk, he had thrown a bit, the first row is pushed back three feet. This results in a small dance floor. Behind her in the wall he has hung up a chain of colored lights. Patchara dizzy. Svignonish calm closes his room at the sound system, with your hidden in the ceiling speakers. Crack. Then coast down the first one even classmates. The ruba rotates now complete. He constantly talks to his poor background dancer, and in between he shrugs at unprecedented speed. Five minutes later, all students sit in rapt anticipation to your seats. Hixio Polk takes the floor. In our series of specific habits and habitat. K-R-R-R-K. Cultures, we are now experiencing our first paper, in this case. K-R-R-R-R, there is even a show, S-V-I-N puffs up. Pachara pulls together even more. So today is the Svignonish Ruba, K-L-L-C-K.